Hello everybody and welcome to Willa Dean's Kitchen. Tonight we're going to make a uh, pumpkin marinara sauce. Now we're going to make this sauce with some pumpkin puree that we had left over from our sugar pumpkin that we pureed. Uh, we're going to use some chopped onions in this dish. We're going to have, uh, we have two slices of bacon here. We're going to cook this off first and then we'll add our onions to the pot uh, to cook. We have some fresh Italian herbs here. We have some thyme and oregano chopped up here. We have some dry Italian herbs, half a teaspoon of that, half a teaspoon of garlic, and a half a teaspoon of paprika in this bowl here. We have some grated Parmesan cheese. We have a can of crushed tomatoes. And we have a little bit of my own uh, garlic and jalapeno mix here that we're going to add to it and we're going to serve this over a bed of fettuccine pasta I'm not going to make the pasta this time because this is going to be an easy recipe that you can put together real quick on an afternoon uh, to get you something to eat so I'm going to get everything together and then we'll show you what this dish looks like Okay, we're just going to taste this and make sure we got enough seasoning in it. Tastes good. The pumpkin adds a little sweetness to it. I think it needs a little bit more salt to it, but other than that, it tastes really good. Okay, so we let our pumpkin marinade cook down here some. So now the next thing we do is we're going to add our fresh herbs. Um, something to learn in cooking school add the fresh herbs towards the ending of the cooking process and we're going to add some of this grated cheese here as well and I tasted it early and it needs a little bit of salt so we're going to add a small amount of salt very small amount of salt here as well and we're going to stir this up. So we're going to cook off some eggplant and some linguine to serve with the salts. Give it a little taste here. And that tastes good. And the pumpkin adds a little bit of sweetness, not too much, but just a touch to add to that tomato flavor as well. So 
We're gonna get our eggplant and our pasta ready and serve this up. Okay, everyone, we have finished our pumpkin marinara fettuccine pasta. So we have the sauce on the bottom. We have some fettuccine there. We have some sauce on top, and we topped it with the crispy bacon and some um, uh, parsley and cilantro. Uh, next to this, we have uh, fried eggplant. So it's just a regular fried eggplant uh, battered in some breadcrumbs and fried to its golden brown. So this is going to be our plate for this evening. It's a light plate. Uh, it looks good. Uh, we'll give this pumpkin marinara a taste here. Sauce is thick. Tastes good. Smoky bacon in there. Sweetness of the pumpkin. Fettuccine pasta. It's really good. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you try this out if you have any leftover pumpkin. And maybe even sweet potato to go with this recipe. And the fried eggplant is just a nice side dish to have with this. So I want to thank everybody for viewing. And you all have a good day.